Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Thank you for clicking on this video and um, listening to my Back to School Project Pan update. Um, before we get started, if you like project painting content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I do project painting content, beauty hauls, skincare, all kinds of things like that. Um, I created this project, uh, Back to School Project Pan. I am a teacher and um, I wanted to create something that was kind of fun and um, school themed to kind of inspire me um, and um, just kind of launch off the school year and start on a really good note. Um, so I created 10 um, prompts that you can use according to whatever, um, you know, however you interpreted those. And so I will go through the 10 prompts and um, also this is a um, listed under the pro uh, the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook. So hopefully if you are not a part of that group, you will click on the description box so that you can um, click on the link and go check them out. Um, so let me go through my prompts and then we'll talk a little bit more. So the 10 prompts were first day fresh, that was like a new um, a new product. Working up a sweat was for PE. Um, getting artsy was for art. Teacher's pet was a favorite product. Sing it was for music. Snack time, which was for snack time. Um, and then it's time for lunch was for like a food themed kind of product. Bad apple was either something you really didn't like and you wanted to get out of your collection or it made you feel like a baddie whenever you wore it. Um, and then there was recess and dismissal, which was a product that, um, so recess was something that reminded you of outdoors and dismissal was something that you could get out of your, um, you know, your collection pretty quickly. You could use it up pretty fast. So, um, this project started August 1st and it goes to December 16th, 15th or 16th, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, and I did it, I created it. And really I was trying to make it easy on myself and others if they chose to participate. So we are only doing this update and that's it. Um, and I am doing mine on the day that <laughs> I set the update because it's progress report time. This week has been really crazy. Every week is crazy when you're a teacher, so um, yeah, that's just, that's life. So I'm going to go ahead and update you on how I have been doing, and I've really enjoyed being able to see some of the Instagram content and a few YouTube videos. So thank you so much. I really appreciate anybody who is participating, even if you don't update on one of the social media channels. So I have met my goal on four of the ten products. Um, I, I don't have them because they are gone, um, which is fine. Um, so for it's time for lunch, I was using up a Tree Hut shave oil in the scent water of watermelon, um, and so I used that up. Um, and that was my goal to get it out before fall because I really didn't want to be smelling like um, summery watermelons um, in the fall. Um, the next one I finished, well, I'll save that one. Um, dismissal was for me was a tanning, um, it's like one of those little tanning serums that you put in lotion and then you kind of rubbed it on your body. Um, I think it was from Jergens, and I'm sure that that product is fine. I just did not enjoy the extra step of putting this into something and then mixing it. If I'm gonna take the time to do a self tan or kind of a thing, I just want to squeeze it into my hand and be done. So I'm sure that it's fine, but I just for me and my taste, I didn't like having that extra step. So I was very glad to get that out of my life. <laughs> and the other one that I finished was for recess and it was a, a sample of an Ahava like shower gel. And um, so I finished that up too. Um, I'm working on the rest of them except for one because I forgot about it. So starting in November, I will be using the teacher's pet item that I did, which is this perfume from Carolina Herrera. This is the Bad Girl Supreme, I believe, perfume. And I love the way that this smells. I really do. This is my, well, it's kind of almost been dethroned by another perfume. But this is one of my top two perfumes. 
and um, so I will start using this in November and my plan is that I will use it during the week and then on the weekend I can use a different kind of perfume. Um, the other thing that I tried to make really flexible and easy about this project is you set the goals however it works best for you. I do not enjoy tracking uses on things so a lot of my goals were either to finish something or to use it for two months. So for this perfume, I will start it in November and use it for November and December. I'm not gonna track my uses on that. Um, okay, so First Day Fresh was a new product and I wanted to kind of take the time to get to know my NARS bronzing cream. I have Laguna, which is number one. And this has um, a scent to it, which is kind of nice. And um, so I'm using this product for two months. I started using it here in October, so I will use it until the end of November. And it's really just um, something for me to kind of get to know it a little bit because it, it was a little light for me over the summer, and it still is really kind of light for me. Um, so what I've been doing is putting this on and then putting a powder bronzer on top to kind of set it. So that's how I'm kind of making it work for me. Um, working up a sweat, the product that I picked for that was uh, my Rare Beauty Cream Blush in Hope. I got this in a trio set last year, so this is a mini, but I'm sure that this will last me a very long time because um, you really only have to put um, a dot on and uh, maybe like two, three dots max, and these are working really nicely. My goal was to use this for two months, and I started using it in September. And so once the October is over, then I will have achieved my goal. I do not use this every day, but I use it most days. And I will either use it on its own or I will layer a powder one on top just to kind of um, freshen things up a little bit. Getting Artsy was my um, ABH Norvina palette. Getting artsy for me was something that's inspiring or colorful or something like that. And, and I am a very, um, very easy makeup look kind of gal. I'm not a makeup artist. I try my best to try different things and techniques and some color, but I don't skip out a whole lot. <laughs> uh, I don't get out of my comfort zone a whole lot. But this one kind of does help me to get out of my comfort zone in a safe way. Um, and I wanted to use this in October. So this is my complimentary palette to my Pan That palette, which is um, Soft Glam. So I use Soft Glam and this um, palette whenever I'm getting ready. And I wanted to use my inspiring, you know, colorful eyeshadow palette for October because October, for at least for me and, and teaching where I teach in the state I teach in, um, October is very a busy month. There's, um, you know, report cards and red ribbon week and Halloween and we have had also career week and pumpkin patch and there's so much going on and it's so much fun for the kids but it is very stressful for the grown-ups so I chose to use this as in my inspiring palette for October because um, it you know kind of wanted to reward myself a little bit for that month of October um, and kind of have some spice to my morning when I'm getting ready. Um, my next product was um, Teacher's Pet, and that is a favorite product. Okay, I feel like I've skipped one. I'm gonna have to look to see. I'm gonna skip that one. Sing It is um, a product that you are I'm always singing the praises of and I'm always talking about this Shiseido Synchro self-refreshing whatever <laughs> super long convoluted name 
Um, so my goal was to use this for two months and, or finish it because I have already taken the stopper out of this and I feel like I took the stopper out a couple months ago and I finally feel like I am starting to tell that there's not as much product on the wand as when I <laughs> after I first took it off and the wand on this is a little different it's kind of an hourglass shaped wand um, but this is a really good concealer it's got really good coverage and it doesn't weigh it's not super heavy under my eyes because I have a lot of dark circles and bags and lines because I'm you know that's just my genetics and I'm 41, so things are not as smooth as they once were. So I have to be really careful about what I am using for that. Um, oh, all right, never mind. Mm, okay, and snack time. The second to the last thing I wanted to go over was snack time. And so I am, for my mini product, I'm using up this um, Laura Mercier um, this mini translucent setting powder. And my goal is to finish this. Um, before the end of the project in the middle of December so we will see if I am able to achieve that I don't know um, okay so the only one that I don't another one that I don't have that I was saving to talk to you about I didn't actually reach my goal on but I'm okay with that because it was for bad apple and it was for it was one of these Burt's Bees lip shimmers and um, I don't remember the shade that I was using but it was like a kind of a burgundy kind of color um well so I was using it very heavily at school I have and I have another one of these that I've kind of replaced it with at school um but the one that I was working on for this project I had to throw away because I ended up getting strep throat uh, about three weeks ago and that is very 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 unpleasant to get <laughs> and so I threw away everything that touched my mouth in that time period that um Burt's Bees thing I threw away a Maybelline lifter gloss which I didn't like anyway because it was way too sticky and the wand is way too fat and there's way too much product that gets out and then so yeah the lifter gloss is not a good recommendation for from me anyway and I even also threw away the cup that I had been drinking which was a nice cup it was one of those like tin you know metal cups I was like I don't even care I am tossing all of this it's going away so I just counting that as done my goal was to try to um, finish that and I'm um, since I had to toss it I'm just saying that it's, it got finished <laughs> um, because it was fine but I don't really like them that much anyway so that is my update. I'm going to continue to work on all of these things. Um, and the only one that I haven't actually like purposefully gotten going is this perfume. And I will start that in November. Thank you so much for watching my update. And I really hope that you are having a great day. I'm about to upload this video on Saturday. So I hope that you're having a relaxing day. And um, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more project panning um, videos and join me in my journey to discover new products and use them up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.